Good afternoon, this is Rick Cernsey, Superintendent of Schools of Putnam County, and I'm here with Mayor Terrell Hill, and we have a, some updated information we want to provide to you about the post-hurricane situation here in Putnam County. First of all, let me just uh, mention a few things about the school system. Currently, we have scheduled for students to return to school next Monday, which would be September the 18th, I believe, Monday, September 18th. And again, if that changes, we will do an announcement, but I want families to start planning on that so they can uh, uh, plan on school starting that day. Uh, as far as our staff goes, we plan on our 12 month employees to return to school, or I'm sorry, return to work tomorrow, which is Thursday, and all the rest of our employees uh, Friday. If you have any questions about that, you need to contact your supervisors uh, with questions. Uh, so once again, contact your supervisor if for some reason you had a hardship and you can't get to work and they will work that out with you. Currently, we have most of our schools powered up, but I do want to let you know as of right now, the following schools yet do not yet have electrical power, but we will update you. Uh, Crescent City High, Browning Pierce Elementary, Palaka High, QI Roberts Junior Senior High School, Mosley Elementary, Mellon Elementary, and E.H. Miller currently do not have power, but we will let you know as soon as they are powered up. And currently, as far as our, our shelters, we have shelters at Browning Pierce Elementary, Interlarkin Elementary School, and at the Putnam Business Complex, which is PRC at 7220 PRC Way. And we still have our special needs shelter at Kelly Smith Elementary. So we will continue to update you on shelter information. Uh, Mayor Hill has some information he wants to share. Um, just for those uh, within the city of Palaka, garbage collection uh, has been reduced from two days per week uh, due to our increased efforts for uh, debris co collection. Um, your garbage collection will be on Thursday and Friday of this week um, and it will continue as a one-day garbage collection for those who are on the Tuesday Thursday schedules and the Wednesday Friday schedules your latter date, either Thursday or Friday, will be the only day for collection until further notice. Additionally, City Hall will be closed for public services uh, until Monday um, the 18th. And also, if you go to PutnamAlert.com, you will see a diagram which shows you exactly how to place your debris on the side of the roadway for collections by our contractors. Our staff will be out um, continuously. And so if you have any further questions, please direct them to the EOC at 329 1904, 329 1904, um, so that all those calls will come in place. Um, also, remember to use caution when you're on the roadway. We have several lights that are out. FDOT and Florida Power and Light are working on those as we speak, and you have to use all of those lights as four way stops. Please be courteous and also be careful. Resist the temptation to drive if you can. Uh, we want to keep the roadways as clean. The curfew will be in effect by the sheriff's office until further notice. Okay, and let me just say one thing. I know a lot of parents will ask if we don't have electricity or my child can't get to school, will it be excused? And we will definitely be sensitive to all situations. So um, if you have any specific questions, uh, go to our Facebook page. You can uh, send a message that way. I'm not sure if our switchboards will be up yet, but send us a message and we will try to respond to you. And one last thing, the bread of life. Um, We'll have meals available for you starting at 11.30 this morning. So they've started already. Um, we are desperately trying to find volunteers and some additional meals there. Um, so keep posted. We will continue to have meals at the Bread of Life and also at the Heart of Putnam. And so uh, those things are in place for people who don't have food. Uh, just continually stay posted to what we have. We'll continue to post on Facebook and other social media outlets as well as the PutnamAlert.com. One last thing. Uh, it's my understanding that St. John's River State College will resume classes Thursday and Friday. I'm sorry. They will stay closed Thursday. I'm sorry. They will stay closed Thursday and Friday. Thank resume, you for that clarification. Resume on Monday. Okay. They will resume on Monday. So St. John's River State College will also be closed for the remainder of the week and will reopen Monday. Uh, just continue to check back on our Facebook page. We'll have a daily update. And again, send us a message if you have a question. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you, Superintendent.